The axe is putting the nose blocking on the wings and basically what I've done is uh, I've been pin nailing the first layer on uh, down, down the nose and I'll put another strip right here on the other side too and then on top of those I'll put uh, a, another strip on top and what I've done with these is I've drawn a center line down the whole length of the material and centered it and uh, I pre-drilled the holes every eight inches and just drove a two inch screw right through everything into the um, the nose spar web until the glue dries and you pull the screws out shape it and then fill the holes on the nose so right now I'm just in the process of uh, I just pin nailed this piece on and I'm going to go pin nail the other side on next. Now I just center it up between the two strips here and screw it down. I've got all the nose blocks uh, glued and screwed on and and now they're unscrewed and ready to shape. Um, what I'm gonna do next is establish a line on the nose block so I can uh, um, draw a line fore and aft to um, establish my taper, taper mark. And the way I'm gonna do that first is I'm going to take and plane to this line here on both sides on, on all the pieces and then after I'm done with that then I can establish a straight line this way because I can't I can't snap a line on this because it's too rough right now and uh, as soon as I I get this line established I'll uh, have to put the tip on and then uh, start at the very tip where I want the uh, solid blocking to be and go to the end and snap a line so I can shape that line.
took about three minutes to do that with it. line the taper uh, mark and I went back and darkened it up with a pencil line and basically I held it here on the tip where I wanted it and then dragged the string back there and held it down where I wanted it and just snapped the line. It uh, took about three times to get it right but it's done now. Okay now I uh, got this thing tapered fore and aft all the way down to where I want it and the next step is is to uh, establish a center line on the nose so what I do is just come up from here and make a mark and then do that on the top and uh, eyeball the mass make sure it's not uh, bowed or anything and then snap a, another chalk line on those two center lines and that'll establish a reference point for your center line on the nose. And I will use a hand plane to do the rest because the uh, electric plane is just, it takes off too much too quick to be uh, accurate with. So I'd rather take my time and do it right. Got my center line established. And now what I'm going to do is just take the hand plane and bevel this side as evenly as possible and bevel that side and then take it from there and see what happens. Okay, uh, pretty much got the sides beveled a little bit uh, and what I'm trying to do is accomplish is there's the corner of the bevel here in the center line what I'm trying to do is to get this from here to here uniform with this side here to here I'm trying to do that all the way down and it tapers at the same time so I think my next cut will probably be kind of that angle and that angle in between this and this and uh, just slowly work it down. here and this edge here. Now my next one is this last corner. I'm going to take that off. I've got to be really careful because you can take off a lot real quick when it starts to get this small. Okay, now I've made the nose rounded over and what I'll do next is lay the thing on its side and then work this edge into the uh, plywood and try not to get into the plywood at all with a hand plane. And that'll be it for the uh, shaping. But, um, this uh, surface plane pretty flush with the plywood now. And I'm really happy with the, the shape of the nose so far. It's come out really well. Now I need to flip it over and do the other side. And uh, it'll be done with a hand plane anyways. I've got the uh, nose of the flap completely done as far as hand planing and all I have to do is come back and block sand it now and that took about oh three three and a half hours to get it to this far and uh, 
I've got both the main wing and the flap noses shaped now. And uh, it took about, oh, six hours to do both of them and, uh, together. And then I had to straighten the trailing edge. End up cutting a little bit more off than I wanted, but you have to have it straight for the overall. I'm really happy with the way things turned out, and it's a it's a meticulous job to do the shaping, but it's actually one of the funnest parts for me. Um, it's a bit of a craft to do the shaping, and it's. The more you take your time, the better you'll do, too. You can't be in a hurry when you want to go to shape. But we're getting closer to being done. And then my next step is to putty all the holes in the nose and then in the skin here. And uh, I'll do that with uh, just a regular wood putty. And uh, I'm using uh, this um, family wood here. Any putty will work. And the fur seems to be the closest color. I did a little test one right there, and I think that'll be pretty close. So, putting's pretty boring, so I don't think I'm going to be filming any of that. 